so I saw, I'm late to the party, but I saw Wakanda Forever today because it's Chibi Tuesday. And I'm going to say a couple things real quick. Um, that's not spoilers. Um, I liked it. I would have liked it a lot more. I don't know what the hell they're doing with the CGI. It's a constant complaint, not just of mine, but of other people. From what I understand, they're not, um, I don't know if they're not paying people enough. I don't know what's going on, but it's got to have something to do with the schedule being so locked tight. I know because of COVID things got moved around, but it's been a good, I don't know, maybe five years where there's been subject C CGI and this time is just really bad, really bad because I could have, I've given the movie a nine out of 10 and there was a lot I really loved, but it's like that, some of that CGI was so bad. There's other things I got to complain about and I got to look at my notes, but I just want to get that out there first and I'm going to be do, I'm going to be doing spoilers in a second. Okay, so I'm going to have to refer to my notes. Let me say the trailers I watched. John Wick was a trailer. It's so funny because I had my head down. I watched that trailer so many, John Wick 4. I watched that trailer so many times I had my head down and I heard that first little ding noise and I was like, John Wick 4. <laughs> I can recognize that trailer in one note. Um, I was looking at it in the theater and I'm like, you know, it does kind of look color wise like Matrix Resurrections. Just saying. Then I Want to Dance was the Whitney Houston movie. She, the lady playing her sounds like her. Megan looks stupid. I feel like it didn't say the actual title of that Santa Claus movie with David Harbour, but I. I don't need any more Santa Claus movies. I don't need any more vampire movies. I don't need any more World War II movies. I mean, I like David Harbour enough. I liked him a lot when I first saw him. And like I said, it was like... Well, I think I saw him first in Brokeback Mountain, maybe. Then he was in that one. I, oh, I never remember the title. Revolution Road, Revolutionary Road. Something where uh, Kate and Leo... And he was the other guy. Um, then what? Mario Brothers. There's no reason I would ever see that. Dungeons and Dragons looks good though. I never played Dungeons and Dragons. But I don't know why. I, I want to see this. Um, Shazam. The, even in this trailer. The flying looked really fake and stupid. It, I don't know. I noticed right, right away though in the pediatrician's office in their trailer, the pediatrician has an Annabelle doll, which I don't even watch those movies. But I was like, why is that there? And the Jake cartoon movie, whatever it is, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Avatar, I don't give a shit about. So um, there were 11, from what I counted, there were 11 of us in the theater. So I'm going to go ahead and start talking about the movie itself. Spoilers, I wrote down first. Bust. I'm trying my best because like I said, I didn't, I didn't concentrate on things I liked before and just from doing astrology and following certain people on YouTube and stuff like that, I've been having to understand what they were talking about in different gods and goddesses and stuff like that. So that's one of them that I sort of have heard about. So I know a little bit about, even though I didn't before COVID, <laughs> you know how we were all in the house. Um, your brother is with the ancestors. That happened really fast, by the way. They did that super fast. I mean, I guess they didn't know how else to handle it. And kudos to them for being able to come together and do everything really quick. But right in the beginning, that right before the Marvel logo, that whole beginning, it was strange camera work. Like, it was shaky, like... And, which is a pet peeve of mine, but it just, it unsettles me. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm woozy, right? And, um... But I'm saying to myself, these people were under stress. They were filming in a bad situation. But it was like, they kept shooting from below. So, like, the camera was going up her nose. And I'm like, I don't know. I just feel like if you're doing that, it's supposed to be an important funeral part and stuff. Like, you, you could have had a steady cam. So, that especially between her, the, when the mother's saying that, you know, your brother's with the ancestors. Um, What did I find interesting? The pallbearers in his funeral were the guard ladies right and they all used one hand on the coffin 
meaning they're super strong, right? And it was nice that the Marvel logo thing with all the Chadwick Boseman, um, what do you want to call it, montage thing, that it was like a moment of silence. I really like that. Um, then for the actual movie. Yeah, oh yeah, here's a big problem that has nothing to do with the movie. I think the sound was messed up in the theater. I feel like either a speaker was blown or something because there were parts where I was like, I felt like I was straining here the dialogue. And then the other times I was like, no, the music's messed up. But then it was like, I don't know that they still do reels like they used to, right? They don't, right? But I don't know. It was like weird because it was like, it wasn't going like in the old days. You could tell when the speaker was like messed up because it would go in and out. I'm not talking about in and out. It was just like the sound was it felt like the sound mixing was messed up and i'm sure it wasn't it, there's something wrong in that theater i think it's the big theater too so they need to fix that which the way the world is they won't because nobody has any money and yeah and when um okay so they were using sonar or whatever to hypnotize people to <laughs> jump off the boat i was like that seems like a bit much for kids you know and then i'm like mayans are scary and i'm like do i even know they're mayans i guess i was right um but getting that from apocalypto if you remember um but there's yeah so one of my the two problems i really have is like i said there was there was a lot of bad camera work and that keeps happening i don't know what it is I'm calling it bad camera work. These people could be experts and stuff like that, but I don't know why there's shaky cam, you know, odd angles. It's shaky cam when there shouldn't be shaky cam. I mean, the camera's not steady. Like, it doesn't have a tripod or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, other things where it's like, um, they're just like, what's that angle? Why are you shooting from there? You know what I mean? Just weird stuff. Um, which I guess you could call the editing. I gotta go fix something. Hang on. So then she's like, the Shuri's like, what did they say? Oh, when the mother's talking about the ancestors or whatever. And she's trying to do that um, ritual. Uh, Shuri's like, that it's a construct in her mind. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, she doesn't believe in anything now. Here's my thing. I'm not a fan of the ancestor thing either. I like a lot of stuff like the spirit stuff and everything. But, you know, doing just watching people's pick a card readings and stuff like that on YouTube. I always kind of get aggravated with the ancestor stuff because it's like, I don't like the idea that people who didn't help you in life are now over there and they're supposed to be helping you and you're supposed to be like, oh, goody, my ancestors. It's like, you didn't help me while you were here. And if you're from before that, you screwed up the people who. <laughs> screwed me up so I don't want that you're gone now okay I don't want you to keep screwing up my life <laughs> you know what I mean um I get the idea that it's the spirit world and they wouldn't be stupid anymore but it was like my thing is you had your chance you had your time with me if you I gotta now deal with <laughs> my situation in my life because you know whatever i'm not a big fan of the whole ancestor thing spirit guides who are like angels or you know ascended masters or people who have been over there doing work and refining themselves for a long time wonderful but you know not people who got me into this mess okay what does this say yeah again with the cgi nay more and this is another thing, Namor or Namor. <laughs> uh, he's coming in and every time he was floating or flying, it looked like this man's on wires. There, I mean, there's points where he's supposed to be. And I know going back to uh, Lord of the Rings, when Sam was supposed to be, remember, spoilers for Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. Sam goes after Frodo. He can't swim. He's supposed to be drowning. And Sean Astin's all like this. That was not underwater. That was, you know, they had him float. And, and they in green screen and they made it look like underwater. But it looked realistic. 
this mostly looks like him, even when he's supposed to be underwater, Namor. He looks like um, he's on wires. And I just, I don't understand because it's like, to me, the, I really like the story. The acting's all good. The costumes are good. And then it's like, you do all this stuff and it costs all this money. How do you mess up the basic technical stuff that's, you know what I mean? The, the CG problem is just part of it, but it's just like, I don't know. And Oh, I love the music. Let me get that out of the way before I forget. Um, yeah, it was, it was, I had a hard time seeing it. I was, sometimes I think it's me. It's not, I was, I'm in the theater, I'm watching it, I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm not home. Cause like if I'm home and I have the lights on and I'm watching a movie that's dark, I can't see it. Right. I'm in the theater. I mean, yeah, there's the lights on the ground, you know, so you don't trip. But otherwise, it's like, I can't get darker than that, you know, in terms of the room. So it's like, because they're underwater, and there's stuff at night. Sometimes it wasn't even at night, though. And I'm just like, again, with all the money they spend, buy a light bulb. I can't tell you how many times I say buy a light bulb when I'm watching a movie. Um, I didn't like Julie Louis-Dreyfus. She's been too Maggie-lizer for years. Um, and she did say beads. And I literally went in the theater, bees? But, <laughs> you know, she, um, yeah, I, 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 even when she showed up in, in, at the end of Black Widow or wherever it was in the uh, post credit scene, I was like, wow, she really stuck out like a sore thumb. Same thing here. I liked her as Elaine on um, Seinfeld, like everybody did, but I couldn't tolerate Veep. I let watch half an episode. Okay, the jokes in the movie were bad. Okay, so at first I was like, I don't know about this movie, you know what I mean? I don't know if it was the line delivery on the jokes or they were just bad jokes. Like, they weren't pop and they weren't, you know what I mean? Again, these are sad people making a movie when their leader passed away died I don't I don't know why I say passed away sometimes when I don't like saying it <laughs> it's like I don't know um yeah this kid the one from Harvard um I guess she's supposed to be baby Iron Man I don't know I don't know what that's about I didn't really understand why she was in this movie um she was supposed to help them out or whatever but I was just like Another person sticking out like a sore thumb, but sticking out like a sore thumb the way I feel like when I'm on the internet or from, you know what I mean? And kid, the younger folks, I guess they're Gen Z now, the way they are, I'm just like, <laughs> what are you doing? You know what I mean? Which she was acting like a young person and it was, I'm like, see, this is why they seem so weird. Um, oh, and the way they introduced it. Julian Wood Dreyfus was, um, what's his face? His ex. It was just like the worst exposition line ever. Um, but once you got into what we were doing with the storyline and, and the, you know, Okoye and, um, the queen and everything, that was cool. And oh, I didn't write it down right. What's his name? Cool, cool con, or however you say it. Is he supposed to be that what's a Qualco guy? I didn't completely understand that. Um, I kind of almost know things, but I don't <laughs> because, like I said, I liked um, Carlos Castaneda books. I liked some things here and there. You know, there was a point in time where I was interested in all those kind of places like Machu Picchu and stuff like that. So I have vague little bits of information about old stuff like that. And like I said, Apocalypto. Um, so yeah, he said his, um, I, my pen wasn't working. He was called the Nino, Un Nino Sin Amor. 
So that's why his name's Namor, right? Because it's without love, right? So I don't know anything about... I didn't read comic books. All the superhero stuff I have is from movies I watched growing up and old and Saturday morning cartoons or any other kind of like I don't remember when X-Men came on the cartoony X-Men came on TV I don't know if I was in college out of college but you know what I mean so there was I think I watched Justice League when I came home on I don't know if it was Cartoon Network or what channel it was on but um so really I I have a normal Gen X understanding of basic comic book characters that were widely known. If it was somebody who was like a side character on one of the, like I said, Saturday morning cartoons, I probably forgot them. Or um, like Namor, I didn't know Namor. I remember um, hearing the name Namor. And in the early aughts, when everybody was trying to make superhero movies, and I was talking to you know, film fans and geek type people online, they would keep talking about Namor and I would see this this drawing and I would be like, that guy looks Asian-y. And I was like, oh, you know, Keanu Reeves, I'm thinking of Americans, you know, or actors we already had lying around. <laughs> I was like, oh, Keanu could play that guy, you know, because Keanu's a little bit Asian-y. But that's what I thought. I thought it was an Asian-y character. Not that he was Asian, but that's what he looked like. So when they showed this guy is going to play Namor, I'm like, wait a minute, isn't that the guy that I thought, <sighs> you know what I mean? And then they're, they're explaining this and that, and I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't know anything about the character, really. But the thing is, everybody else in the movie called him Namor, and he called himself Namor <laughs> uh, because of what it meant. So, yeah. I'm trying to read my notes. Okay, so about not more. <laughs> Whatever his name is. Him and uh Cherie, when he had her and they were down there, I'm like, wait a minute. I was like sitting there watching them too. And I'm like, they make a really good couple. Am I supposed to be thinking because I'm thinking this, I'm looking at the two of them and I'm like, okay. And then he said something about when she was with her ma. And they were she she said something about wanting to watch the world burn or what something like that and he said um let's burn it together i was like that's hot <laughs> and guys and i'm over here shipping these two and he said let's let the world burn up let's let let's burn the world together i'm like she doesn't want to go i'll go <laughs> um yeah i i really like them as a couple and I'm like, I hope this this is never going to happen. But I'm going to ship this for a whole five minutes before they ruin it. And they ruined it. And, um, yeah, so. The music, like I said, the music, I don't. There was one song that was really awesome. But the music, it was all kinds of different music, it seemed like. But it was really great. And I don't think any one person's responsible. Because it looked like there are a couple different um things. I don't know what Midnight Angel is. I assume I'm supposed to know. A bust came up again so they want you to get the religious ideas of it or the mythology of it I guess but um yeah when they were spoiler spoilers in case you're still here and you didn't watch it when they were um having her drink the potion in order to be um Black Panther I was like, didn't she have to be in salt? But then again, she made her own compound, so I guess not. But in the thing, didn't they have to put them in salt or something? That's just because he was dead that they put him in salt. I thought they had to be covered with sand or something. Wasn't that part of the ceremony? Okay. So, yeah, what else? Um, yeah, the movie. Like, with them two and everything that was going on, I felt like this movie was sexy. I'm sorry. Um, Because, you know, it had a tone. Not that it was about sex, but I thought the movie was sexy. Like, there was, I don't know. 
yeah if you know what I mean you know what I mean and then um I didn't take a lot of notes <laughs> but no I I liked all of it the the at the end credit scene well there was the there was before the end credit scene when she was doing her ritual on the beach and they popped up with you know who I was like oh, his name is Toussaint that's cute and then when they did it they you know re fixed it and they're like oh well that's that's my Haitian name I was like, oh no. So they totally came around. They pulled a rabbit out of a hat. They fixed everything. They fixed the timeline. Um, you know, everything can go wonderful from here on out for everybody involved. And they just did an amazing job in, in, in horrible circumstances. I loved it. I'm going to need to watch it again. There was, a, like I said, there, were, there, was, there was either low talking or whatever. I said the volume seemed messed up in my theater so I need to really rehear it but I did end up really liking it like I said I got no I can't complain about old oh, comic book this and that I don't know it so even though I have for even the bigger characters I have some previous knowledge from older movies or like I said Saturday morning cartoons and stuff like that I when I watch any of these movies any of these superhero movies I'm not coming in blind I'm coming in with somebody who knows something the characters and what they're supposed to be like so I can't really get bent out of shape unless I know they're really inaccurate I would not know anything about Namor Namor whatever his name is to say oh this is wrong that's wrong I'm just watching the movie as it was presented and I did like it a lot like I said the first beginning especially there was a lot the, the things that are wrong to me are technical things it's the cgi it's let's do another take okay some of this dialogue is stilty and bad in the very beginning once they really got into the storyline once it really got to be that they were going to um once they got into it you know with no more that was all good all that stuff and um i i couldn't really understand why she wouldn't team up with them to tell you the truth because they're trying to protect the vibranium they're trying to protect their nations and obviously the colonizers are evil and they want to take this stuff and use it for weapons so it's for the betterment of mankind or any kind the universe to not allow to team up and have an alliance and not allow them to um they to not allow them to get the vibranium and for them to protect each other but he did end up killing her ma which i kind of didn't understand where that was coming from and personally that scene with her on the beach it was like oh my god because i had a similar situation um you know so I was like I cried like four separate times in this movie that was me relating a little bit too much to what Cherie was going through on that beach just then because that happened to me in real life not on a beach in a hospital but yeah same exact thing and um I I I've liked Angela Bassett since uh the Tina Turner movie which I saw in the theater um I like I said years ago when from having watched the x-men cartoon when they were going to make x-men movies i was like oh, i want angela bassett to play storm you know i don't know what happened because for a while i know she got married and stuff like that i don't know if she went off and raised kids or whatever but i didn't see her that much after that early stuff with them what was the one with whitney houston and all them she lit her husband's stuff on fire <laughs> um yeah yeah i didn't see her that much until you know she started coming around lately in the American Horror Story and I don't know if she took time off or if she was just in things I didn't watch because uh, like I said she was big in the beginning she was in the Malcolm X movie which I think they referenced they made a reference she at one point she said something but like by any means necessary so there were a couple of references here and there that I didn't write down everything I, was, I couldn't see in there so it was hard for me it was the screen was dark that's when I write down is when the screen gets bright. But if the screen never gets bright for a minute, 
you know. Um, but um, yeah, I there was so I loved a lot of it. I can't be specific right now, but um, I feel like if I see it again, which I won't do unless you know, it, by until it comes out on video, Blu-ray, whatever you want to say. Um, but I I really enjoyed it. I I really wish they would stop doing this because Marvel consistently puts out movies where you're like, why didn't they why didn't they finish it? Because it feels like they needed to tweak the special effects on like every single movie. I mean, going back to Black Panther, because if you remember, you know, him fighting Killmonger. I kind of forgot to mention Killmonger in this one. But when they were fighting and flying around, it looked terrible. But that was that one little piece. There's so much bad flying and floating. It all looks terrible. Um, but Killmonger, yeah, I think it was very smart. Like, I like all that stuff where... It, it made more sense and it helped because you did not have Chadwick Boseman to be there on the other side but her mother was alive you know what I mean but how do you just have the mom but it did make sense for him to be the one to come over because I mean he's not I don't know if he's technically her ancestor but this is what I mean about the ancestor thing but um yeah because she was more like him uh, non-believer not one for you know that woo woo stuff as they call it um but yeah no I really I really liked it um I think I've heard uh like there's an idea that you know name more wimpified or got girl powered or whatever when he decided to make a truce I mean if you're dumb enough to you know what I mean <laughs> um there's different kinds of power and I still think they should get married <laughs> um I just I felt like they made such a good couple I really I what's his I don't know his how to say his name Tinuk or Tinuk or whatever and Letitia I, Letitia's great. I think she's amazing. I think she was very, just, just you know, in what she went through off screen, um, with her own views and, you know, I like her a lot. And I thought she was amazing. Um, Angela Bassett gave like a really stellar, uh, I can't think of the word, monologue, you know. When she was cussing out, um, Okoye. Why can I only remember her name? <laughs> but, yeah, so, I mean, there was, there was, it, it, there was so much great that it really ticks me off that there were these very basic things that kind of weren't, I don't know, I don't know what to say about it. I mean, why put in all the effort? Why do all this great stuff? And then just let the CGI keep sucking movie to movie, movie to movie, movie. It's like you're you like well, it's seventy five percent good. Put it out, or it's eighty five percent good. Put it out. Well, who cares about this stuff? Well, we didn't really do extra takes, so we'll have to use that one. I mean, it's it seems because the stuff that I complain about, the stuff that's bothering me about these Marvel movies, it's the stuff that doesn't cost any money. You know, and I'm not saying another take doesn't cost money, but it's like when I'm talking about, you know letting the camera sit still that doesn't cost any money um having people who are on wires look a little bit more natural on the wire so it doesn't look like they're on wires or you know when you're having what's supposed to be a human being run on something in space or up in the atmosphere and this rubber chicken I keep calling them rubber chickens because that's what they those rubber chicken versions clearly not their feet are not really planting on the thing they're running on it it looks like bad video game and I I didn't play bad video games you know um that's why I think sometimes it's except uh, ac acceptable <laughs> for younger people than myself who did play those scarily animated video games uh, in the mid nineties to aughts where it was like, cause when I was, video games looked like video games, it was like Pong and Pac-Man and 
space invaders, right? It, they weren't trying to make humans. When they started trying to make humans and they look really scary and fake, like I said, the kids were raised on that. I think they go to the movies and the bad special effects doesn't bother them that much, you know. But um, that's to me, it's it's so annoying because that's just it's like not bothering to focus. It's su such a basic thing that that you know you've got all this other work goes into the movie and the costumes were great and everything else. All this other work goes into the movie. Everybody else shows up. And, and I don't think, like I said, for, I don't think it's the CGI artists. I don't think it's them. I think it's that they either don't have time. They're not getting paid enough. They're getting worked too hard. Something. Something movie to movie to movie where it's just a mess. And, um, like I said, Julie Louis-Dreyfus is annoying me here. Matt Damon annoyed me. And Thor Love and Thunder. Okay, you have this big star and they showed up. If you have to cut them or they're unnecessary or you need to get somebody else, you know what I mean? Because some of this stuff, it's like they, like I said, they just stick out and it's like, okay. You know what I mean? It's almost like product placement. When, you know, <laughs> you see a big Sears or Coca-Cola or something like that and it's like distracting. Um, but what else? I don't know what an Imperious Rex is. I don't know what that is. So, like I said, there's probably a few things I really don't know, but I, I'm surprised how much I liked it. I didn't know that's what the story was going to be. I really shipped the two of them. I want them to get married in in that kind of an alliance, like a uh, like in the old days when you betrothed people. But, yeah, I, I think they made a great couple. Uh, but she, you know, I don't know if Winston Duke's way too old for her. Because I almost felt like that was going to be something for a minute. I'm like, but again, like it's the whole movie, it, it, it had a richness to it. I think that's the sexiness I'm talking about. There was some, it could, it had a, a lot of rich stuff going on. Rich like rich chocolate. You know what I mean? Or, you know, decadent type. Like, you know, not decadent. Like rich chocolate cake. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> like that. So, yeah, I'm just rambling now because I feel like I needed to say more stuff. But I loved it. But I just, so it just upsets me that there's all these little, it's almost like smudges or thumbprints or something that shouldn't even be there. It's like you got this movie just before you give it out, you know what I mean? That's like if somebody gave you a birthday present in the bag. Like they went, they bought you something at Walmart. And instead of wrapping it and putting a bow on it, they just gave it to you in the bag with the sales uh, tag still on it and the receipt in the bag. <laughs> just, you know what I mean? <laughs> don't do that. Um, yeah. So, 9 out of 10. I, I, I don't know when I'll rewatch it, but I'm sure I'll see things I missed. I, I really would like to get more into the mythology of it. Like I said, I don't know even how to say Quetzalcoatl. I don't know if that's who this character is supposed to be. But um, I was sort of interested in that. I never got into that. I also felt like that was, spoilers, something that had to do with Birdman. Like Birdman was a little bit based on that or something of it. They're, you know, they all have, everybody's got bird gods and stuff. And Yeah. Anyway, let me shut up because I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But I really liked it and I need to rewatch it, but not right now.